Hello and welcome to my latest video. I really hope you enjoy the process of the creation of my latest painting. If you didn't already know, I've just released my own paintbrush set. So that's what I'm going to be using in this video. First things first, I've got to get a background washed down to get rid of that harsh white of that wood panel that I'm working on. A large flat brush is perfect for this, doing thin washes of loads of different blue paints to get a really nice, bright, vibrant, underwater themed background. All those like splatter marks that you can see are made with a spray bottle, basically just spraying water onto the slightly dry paint, leaving it for a minute and then just brushing over the top, removing that water and removing some of that paint underneath, creating these like nice bubble effects without me having to paint each individual bubble. When it comes time to start to add a few more details to this background, I've got a couple of brushes that are perfect for it. I've got a small filbert brush and then a really, really tiny detail brush for painting all of these final touches, like these tiny little bubble effects. Good paintbrushes can be kind of hard to find, especially if you're like me who has a specific requirement for those brushes. So I decided that I would just make my own set, which can be purchased through the link in the description. I'm working with acrylics for this particular painting, but these brushes are perfect for oils too, or at least they are in the way that I paint. So if you've ever wanted to paint the way that I do using the same brushes as me, then these are the perfect brushes for you. We are running low though. There are only 50% of the brushes remaining. The rest have sold in the first four days of release, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you to everyone that has actually bought one or two sets. Please do comment on the video if you have bought one so that I can thank you personally. Right, back to the painting now. And I started this one a little bit differently. I created this almost like ghost turtle before I started applying colors. That's because I wanted to create a really bright, vibrant turtle. And I wanted it sat on the purest white possible. If I painted this on top of the blue, then some of those colors might get muted by the blue color underneath and they wouldn't have appeared as bright and vibrant. This technique was really effective and it allowed me to glaze all of those colors and those shadows and highlights directly onto that turtle really, really easily, creating form and giving it this 3D bright, vibrant, colorful look. And I've actually got a more in-depth walkthrough of how I painted this particular turtle on Patreon. So if you're not already a member, go and check it out for loads more wildlife painting tutorials. Now it's time for the big turtle. And I did exactly the same thing with this one. Started out by filling in with that white paint. And for this, because I wanted to be a little bit more detailed with this one, I'm just using a much smaller filbert brush that is part of the brush set that is perfect for the details. Then I can start doing my glazes with the slightly bigger filbert brush and details with one of the round brushes from the set that just really, really make really refined detail work like this so, so easy. I know they are my brushes and I am trying to sell them, but they are genuinely the best brushes I've ever used for painting wildlife. I custom designed each brush for the specifications that I require for my paintings and two of the brushes which I completely designed myself, you cannot get that type of brush anywhere. They are uniquely designed for the way that I paint. Before I get on to the reveal of this painting, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has already bought one of the brush sets. It means so much that you are supporting me in this way. Your support means that I can keep doing what I love and hopefully keep on creating better and even more videos and tutorials for you guys. Anyway, let me show you the finished painting. <laughs> 